All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Yah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yah Hashem, and Kapodash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash other bishops for great millstone. The one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here for a bear pretty much an open phone. Just pushing this word to the best of your ability. Let your light shine. That's the first scripture I got. Because the end all, be it all, these Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they ignore the words of prophecy. They're going to know that a prophet had been among them. So this is the first scripture I want to get. Just an open form, pretty much. This is St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. And this is red letter. Lord, yeah, how shall I speak? Who they going to call Jesus, right? Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. A city set on a hill cannot be here. This this is the light, man. Shining in a dark place, man. A beacon of light. Just like um so like if you're in the you at sea and you're coming back home, the first thing you see before you get to the city is what? The lighthouse. At least you know what direction you need to go, right? That lighthouse. That lighthouse brings forth what? Light. We are the light of the world. And why are we the light of the world? Because we have the light, which is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? It says, neither do men, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Because why? It's going to burn the bush, right? It says, um, but on a candlestick and it give it light unto all that are in the house. So when you light a candle, what do you do? You take the, you take the candle and put it on a candlestick so the rest of the room can be lit it up, right? Same thing with this word. You don't take this word and throw it up under the couch, man. Okay? Or sit in the house with it. No. You hit the streets with it, man. You you let your light shine. Let, you let the whole world know that you got that light, man. All right? Shit, look at, the, look at two thirds of our people. They're letting everybody know that they're full of darkness. So, so what are you ashamed of? You know? Talking to the men of our nation. The, the, the spirit is on them to push this word, but they still ain't went out there yet. I mean, what the hell are you waiting on? I mean, all hell breaking loose, you know what I'm saying? The, the, all the chess plate pieces are set up. Yahweh Bashim El Shai got everything set up, man. You see? This is not checkers, it's chess. What, what the hell are you waiting on? Let your light shine. If, that, if that's your lot. We know that ain't every Israelite man lot. But, but you pretty much know if that's your lot or not. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the Lord has given you many clues. And then, and then it haunts you at night when you don't want to go teach. You know what I'm saying? When you walk it throughout your day and you ain't went to go teach yet. You ain't did no lessons. It messes with you, man. Just like it messed with us until we finally went out there, right? It says, um, let your light, 16, St. Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine before men. Once again, what is that light? This word. If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. So the light is this word. I got to deal with all these mosquitoes. It says, let your light shine before men. This, this is a commandment right here. You got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures? Go teach it, man. Let your light shine before men. Where? On the highways and byways. You see, this, this is a good profession, man. As the scripture have said. Oh, yeah, matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get that. Good profession before many witnesses, King James Version. Yeah, I'm going to finish reading this and I'm going to get this Timothy. It goes right along with it. St. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men. Where at? On the highways and byways. And doing sit down videos, but mainly out there on the highways and byways, right? That they may see your good works. This is a good work. Yeah, you get mockers, you get scoffers, you know what I'm saying? You get all um, non-believers, you know. You got the gang sayers, but this is truly a good work, man. You got the unbelief, everybody, man. You got people that want to harm you, threaten you, things of that nature. But look, this is a good work. What we're doing is a good thing in the eyes of the Lord, right? It says, um, and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. And that's what we do when we go out there to the highways and bowels. Brachatha Yahweh, Brachatha Yahweh Shai. So we praise the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. You see, everybody trying to go to the Father, but you can't go to the Father. You got to go through the Son to get to the Father. But I got this, though. This is a precept for what I just read. This is on um, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. It says, fight the good fight of faith. And that's what we're doing. We're fighting. You know what I'm saying? This, this faith is what's keeping us fighting, right? 
Our faith is what keeps us fighting, right? Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold unto eternal life. And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for eternal life. Wherein too thou art also called. See, we have been called to teach this word. Remember, I have chosen you. You didn't choose me. We have been called to teach this word. But Lord willing, we are the chosen, right? And has professed a good profession before many witnesses. What do we do that at? On the highways and byways. That's a powerful scripture. It, it says the only way you're going to be able to hold unto eternal life is if you, if you fight for it. We got to fight for it. Wherein to doubt also call. The Spirit of the Lord will let you know if you have been called to teach this word. It ain't going to be no doubt in your mind if you're supposed to teach this word or not, man. Okay? And if it's a doubt in your mind, that's a demon, man. You need to rebuke that demon in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? And it has professed a good profession before many witnesses. This is our profession. You see? Teaching this word, teaching the gospel, teaching the good news is our profession. Because all hell going to break loose. It's already breaking loose right about now. <clears throat> and you don't want to put your talent in a napkin, man. Okay? You do not want to put your talent in a napkin. Let's get here. Quick little lesson. This is on Ezekiel 2. And, um... Shalakia. Oh, Shalakia. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5. And they, meaning the Hebrew Israelites... Whether they were here or whether they were forbear, whether they listen or whether they don't listen, for they are a rebellious house. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. You wait till all hell really break loose. Everything that we say according to the Bible is happening. Everything that we say according to the Bible is happening as I make this lesson right now, man. You see? As I make this lesson, all hell breaking loose. So, it, so in the end, all be it all, what they're gonna know that the prophet had been among them. I want to get this axe right quick. Um, axe chapter twenty. Let's see. And we coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. Let your light so shine. Let's see. So where I want to start at. Oh yeah, listen to this. Acts chapter twenty, verse on uh, twenty six. Oh. Uh, 26 wherefore I take unto you record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men why because we are getting the blood off our hands when you teach this word you're getting the blood off your hands you're getting their blood off your hands every time you go out there and teach this word every time you go let your light shine every time you do a sit down video the Israelites that hear this word, you getting their blood off their hand. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you did your job. Once again, Acts chapter 20, verse 26. Wherefore I take to you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh by Shemel. Shall we bring out the 100% truth according to the Bible, man? Regardless if they took heed to it or not, we bring it out, man. We, look, look, when they, when they say bring it out, damn it, we bring it out. You know what I'm saying? You know, look, and, and yet we know so, so some people ain't going to believe the truth according to the Bible, but that's not your concern. That's not your problem. Worried about that somebody's going to believe the truth or not? Your only concern should be letting your light so shine, right? Acts chapter 28. And then you, you hear the birds going crazy. The birds said, that's right. You, know, you got the birds in the background. So bring it out. You, you, hear, you hear it? You hear it? Um, Acts chapter 28 verse 24 and some believe the things which were spoken and guess what and some believe not two thirds are not going to believe the elect of the nation of Israel they're going to believe because all hell breaking loose all hell breaking loose man let's see look look death on top of death they're going to know that a prophet had been among them look give them one for me right let's get I might want to get a secret right quick Ezekiel the third chapter, might as well get him right here. Matter of fact, let's go to 33 first. Ezekiel 33, and then I go right back. Pretty much just an open form, man. Lord, one of the elects edify Ezekiel. 33 and 1, again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, What's the children of thy people? The Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians. It says, um, Say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, that the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. If when he seeth the sword, and the sword represents destruction, that's what's coming, destruction. And it's about to be a famine of the word. Soon come see the, um, who was it, on um, Facebook, WhatsApp app, Instagram, I think, um, I think it was TikTok. 
correct me if I'm wrong, all of them went down for a couple of hours, man. You know what I'm saying? All you social media whores, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and all y'all that make money off social media, what are you, you going to do when social media um, finally get canceled by Yahweh, by Shemesh? What the hell are y'all going to do, man? Destruction is coming. Social media ain't going to do nothing, and they're going to cut off them phones. You know what I'm saying? They're going to cut off them phones soon, come too, man. What, what, are you, what are you men and women going to do when you can't use your cell phone anymore to get in contact with anybody? When you can't use your cell phone no more to check your Facebook um, page to see if anybody liked your pictures today, how many likes you got, how many hearts you got, how many smiley faces you got. You see? How, how much money you made that day? Look, look, when it's all said and done, all that shit gonna go down the pipeline. What are you gonna be left with, man? Because the scriptures tell us, let's get it right quick. What is, what, when everything crashed down, what is the hopeful elect gonna be left with? Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. See, Lord willing, we're gonna be that number to be left with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. What the hell are you two thirds gonna be left with? You see? What the hell are you going to be left with, man? A whole lot of sad singing, you know what I'm saying, and flower bringing, man. That's what you're going to be left with. And, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So this is what's going to keep us stable. The knowledge and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is his treasure, man. Right? And all kind of live streams going on right about now. As I do this video, all kind of live streams going on right about now. The elder um, Manatis Arba. He doing a live stream right now. I think El Mardi Gras from D.C. doing a live stream right about now. So this word is going forth. Brothers letting their light shine, man. Brothers letting their light shine. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Matter of fact, before I go back to the Ezekiel, I want to read this right here. Psalms chapter 91. Psalms 91. This is where we put our trust in. This is where we put our hope in. This word. Oh, yeah. Then the scripture says, happy is the man to get of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. Psalms 91 and um, 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth, remember the wisdom that shall keep you stable, his truth shall be thy shield and buckle. So when all hell break loose, when they shut down Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you know I'm saying, what's up at YouTube, and all that other nonsense, the men of the Lord, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, I'm part of that number, are going to be left with this truth. And that's what's going to keep us stable. What the hell is going to keep you people stable? Especially when you women can't use the phone. They call them four or five dudes. You you got a man, but then you got four or five other dudes that you secretly hollering at, getting money from, going, going back behind your man. Look, man, this it, it, about to be a wrap, man. All you wicked Israelites out there, man. You see? All the do wickedly shall be stumbled. Let's see if I can get that too. Let's go right back. Ezekiel 33. In um, 3. If, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet. He let that light shine. You see? He bring out this word and warn the people, right? And so what we do, we warn the people. It says, um, Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet, the warning, and take if not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet. And that's, what, that's why we're teaching these lessons, to get your blood off our hands, man. He says, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul, man. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, you don't let your light shine, right? And the people be not warned. Look, it's all about warning the people of Israel. It says, um, and um, if the sword come and take any man among them. I'm going to read it from the, from the top, verse 6, Ezekiel 33 and 6. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, there's a whole lot of watchmen that ain't blowing the trumpet, man. No one ain't supposed to be warning Israel of the pending destruction that's going to befall America and throughout the four corners of the earth, man, but mainly here in America. And if the people be not warned, if the sword come, if destruction come, and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hands. That's why we go warned. So thou son of man, I have set thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word and slack him. Therefore thou shalt hear the word in my mouth and warn them for me. That, look, that's the heavenly father speaking too. Get, get off your ass and go warn the people. Definite instructions in the air. Definite instructions in the air. For real, for real, man. You see, the Lord said, hate not labor's work, man. You know what I'm saying? This is a labor of love. Remember, he ain't going to forget, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he, he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, man. Lord ain't going to forget that. Let's get this, though. 
Second Timothy, right? This is um yeah, first Timothy, so lock it. First Timothy. Quick little lesson man before it get too dark. First Timothy chapter four, just got off. First Timothy chapter four. You know, storing up treasures in heaven right about now, man. Lord willing, when all hell breaks loose, I'll be able to dig dig into that spiritual bag, man. You see? And, and, and pull out a blessing, man. Through the spirit of your house, but Shemel Shai. First Timothy chapter four, verse sixteen. Um, matter of fact, 15. Meditate upon these things, meaning this word. Give thyself wholly to them. Put forth all your energy that thy profiting may appear to all, man. You see? Everybody going to see, you know what I'm saying, what you went to. You went to this word, look, look, people, people see it, man. You see? That, that, that shine, that glow. You know what I'm saying? Because what would the scripture say? Wisdom making for a man face to shine? It says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. Continue what? Teaching. Continue in them. Teaching, man. Or oh, then the scripture say, continue in that which thou hast heard, has learned, and whom thou hast learned it from, and knowing of whom thou hast learned it from. We know who our teachers are. The apostles and elders of great millstone. That's our teachers, right? That's who taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Once again, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So you got to warn, you got to let the light shine. For anyone to hear you, you got to let the light shine, man. It says, look, continue in this, because if you do these things, thou shalt, both, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. But if you ain't out there, one, if, look, and once again, this goes for who it applies to. It, you, you pretty much know by now, if you've been in this thing for a little while, you know if the Lord wants you to teach or not. You keep coming on the comment board. Um, um, how, how will I know if, if it's my lot to teach? You're going to know, man. There ain't, ain't, no, ain't no doubt about that. You're going to know, man. Just like we knew, you're going to know, man. You see, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be dead up here, man. You're going to keep, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be, um... You're pretty much gonna be condemned, man, until you go out there. The spirit is gonna be condemning you until you go out there and let that light shine, man. You gonna you gonna start to fear too. You are gonna be walking around nervous, looking all crazy. This is um. Let's see. Let's listen, listen to this. First Corinthians chapter three. Verse um. I, I, I start at 6. I have planted. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. I have planted. Apollos watered. But Yahweh gave the increase. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but the Most High that giveth the increase. So yeah, you might go out there, you know what I'm saying, with a little knowledge, but then the Lord increases you. And every time you go out there, you're going out there with more scriptures, more scriptures. Throughout the week, you study and study. The Most High giveth the increase, man. Or oh, see? It says, um, uh, now he that planted and he that watered are one, and every man shall receive his own reward. See, every man shall receive his own reward to his own labor. No, no, slack him. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor, man. You see? So, so look, you got to put it in the word, just like at my job. I go to work, you know what I'm saying? You don't go to work with me, but you think you're going to receive a check? No, you're not going to receive a check off what I do at my job. Now, if you get hired on my job and you come there and you start working, then you're going to receive a check because you're working. But you're not going to get paid for what the next man is doing, man. I don't think it, it don't work like that, man. That, that's a bad scripture right there. Let your light shine, man. You got talent. You got one talent. You better use that one talent. You better go flip that one talent. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 8 again. Now, he that planted... And he that watereth are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor, man. You see? You got to go out there and labor, man. You got to go out there and warn the people, man. So you can receive the prize, man. So you can receive your own reward. And I mean, I quoted this, no sense, so I will get it right quick. This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. What I'm doing right about now is I'm working. 
And this is a labor of love. You got to love to do this, man. No matter if you're tired, no matter if you're sick, your back hurt, you just got out of work, you're sleeping, pray for more strength. Don't get the lesson done, then go to sleep. Don't go to sleep and then think you're going to wake back up and do the lesson. You know it don't work like that. If you're sleepy, look, pray for the Lord. Pray to the Lord to give you some strength, right? And and and, and do that lesson, man. Look, 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 then, then go to sleep. So it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. It's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown towards his name, in that ye have ministered. See, once again, we're bringing to this thing to serve. When we out there on the highway, the byways, when we do these sit-down videos, it's us serving the Israelites, right? That's what the word minister mean, right? It's to the saints, which are the Israelites, and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Keep pushing to the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise, man. So what, 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 got, me, what got me doing this lesson right about now? Faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? Seeking salvation, man. This, this is the least that we could do anyway. Let's get some more scriptures right quick. You see? Let's get some more scriptures right quick. What Lord, Lord said, yo, go out there and give him warning now. Give him warning now for me. Let him know the death and destruction is coming. Let, let him know, man. Let him know all hell breaking loose. Let him, let him know. Let's get that Amos right quick. All hell breaking loose now. Um, this is Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3, verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? It's the, it's the trumpet, this word coming out, right? Ain't nobody afraid, but they're going to wish they was. Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, have not done it? Show that the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. So who's supposed to be out there shining that light? The prophets. Who's supposed to be out there on the highways and byways warning the people? The prophets. Who's supposed to be sitting down doing these sit who's supposed to be doing these sit down videos edifying the elect of the nation of Israel? The prophets, man. You see? Who's supposed to be getting their blood off their hands? The prophets, man. Alright? The Lord said, All the sinners of my people shall be consumed by that fire, man. And I, and I, and I got a matter of fact, let's get that Joel well right quick. Let's get that Joel. Let's get Joel right quick. We're on that trumpet, man. And then look, remember the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it's going to speak. It's speaking loud and clear now. The vision, aka the prophecies, are speaking loud and clear. Let's get that Joel. 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 Joel chapter 2 verse 1, blow you the trumpet in Zion, which is this word, and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is not at hand, man. Okay? It is not at hand. And I mentioned it's going to be a famine of the word. Look, once again, they're going to shut down TikTok for good. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, who you're going to call God and Jesus Christ. He's going to shut TikTok down for good. He's going to shut Facebook down for good. He's going to shut Instagram down. He's going to shut um, YouTube down for good. And you Israelites going to lose your freaking mind, man. Straight up, man. You're going to lose your freaking mind, man. Amos chapter 8 verse 11. Behold, the days come. Say the Lord. Future prophecy. It ain't happened yet. That I will send a famine in the land. Not, not a famine of bread nor of thirst for water, even though that's coming. But of hearing the words of the Lord. It's, it's going to go down. It's going to be a famine of the word of the Lord, man. Straight up, man. And, and these people are really going to lose their mind for real, for real, man. It's going to be a famine of the world. Look, these phones going to get cut off. What, what the hell are you people going to do when you can't get, con get in contact with your weed, man? You know what I'm saying? Your dope, man. When the stores are closed down, you can't get your cigarettes. You can't get your narcotics. You can't get your medicine. You can't get your pills. Women, you can't get your pads. You can't get no water. What what you people going to do, man? Because the Lord said he's going to take care of his own. The scriptures say those that fear the Lord shall not want for anything, man. But you Israelites that don't fear the Lord, you're going, to want, you're going to beg and want for everything, man. The Lord said it's going to be a famine of the word. So come. No more Israelite video. No 100% truth going out, man. You see? Look, look. No more mocking. No more scoffing. When this day come to pass, right? And you're passing the church, you know what I'm saying? He's going to get cold. 
he gonna get his hand beat to the white meat, you know what I'm saying? Because his, his whole congregation gonna realize that he was lying to him the whole time. He gonna be somewhere in hiding, man. You see? Someone hiding in one of his um, houses, in one of his mansions that don't nobody know about. But the Lord still gonna have somebody find it though, right? It says, um, and they shall wander from sea to sea, meaning the Israelites gonna go crazy, go bonkers, looking for the men of the Lord. And from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. And shall not find it, man. Okay? And shall not find it. They're gonna run to and fro. They're gonna be breaking their necks, man. You can you can picture it really literally. You can picture it, man. Israel going crazy over this word, man. You can picture it, man. <clears throat> you can picture Israel losing a freaking mind. Look, looking for the men of the Lord. And look, and the internet ain't gonna be on either. What? Come on, man. What are you gonna do, man? You gonna say greater evil than the things you see in there gonna happen on the earth? Through man, this is um Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter forty, verse nine. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and the scourge. This is, this is what's coming. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. But you didn't want to listen though. The Lord got no spirits created for vengeance. Man, what are you people gonna do, man? You Israelites gonna bug the hell out, man. You and you see it, man. You see, the Lord says he's going to bring great misery. we got to warn these people. And misery is going to come upon this land. Let's get this. Let's get it. Second Ezra chapter 8. We bring it out all the time, but these are the times we're living in. Second Ezra chapter 8 verse 50. For many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride, so death and destruction is on the rise. Crime is on the rise. Invading one another's houses is on the rise. What are you talking about? It's a whole lot to warn Israel about. Martial law about to pop off. The Gregor troops gonna be kicking in your door soon. Come, you know. They they get ready to go house to house. Sleeves up. Remember, sleeves up, right? Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse um forty nine. And I was saying plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, and thy houses shall be slucky, to waste thy houses with destruction. And death, that's what's coming. What the hell are you people going to do? When all of these things come to pass, what are you people going to do, man? We're going to throw um, the majority of Israelites into concentration camps. You see, matter of fact, I ended off with, I got one more, and then I'm going to end it off. It's getting dark. I ended off with this. Israel, you have been one. Look, then they shall know that a prophet had been among them. Family members included, man. Family, me family members included, right? Jeremiah 15. I'm going to go straight to the point. Jeremiah 15 and 2. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, which represents more death, destruction, and such as are for the famine to the famine. Because remember, earlier we read in um, Amos um, 8 and 11, it's going to be a famine of the word. And this scripture right here is telling you it's going to be a famine of food, a lack of food, right? You see? It says, um, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity, concentration camps getting thrown into the concentration camps. And I will point over them four kinds, said the Lord. The sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, meaning these birds, and the beasts of the field to devour and to destroy. So it's a whole lot to warn our people about, man. It's pretty much an open form. Just warning our people letting our light shine before many witnesses. Because it's going to come a day when this word is not going to go. It's not going to be accessible as it is now, man. Okay? You know? And they're going to wander from sea to sea. They're going to be killing themselves, man. The, look, the Lord always, it's always a um, warning before destruction. TikTok, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be able to twerk your buns anymore soon. Come, women. You see? And all you Israelite women out there, look, man, you better seek the seek Yahweh Bashim Shai. You better take heed to what the word is saying and pray to Yahweh Bashim Shai send you a, a protector in that day, one of his servants, to serve him to the best of their ability. You're gonna serve either way. Or or, or the or these wolves, aka these ninjas out here, are gonna eat you alive, man. You see, you women out there, it's all prideful. I don't need a man, I'm saying I got my career going, I got three, four bachelors, you know what I'm saying, degrees, I got four, five jobs. You know what I'm saying I'm making this amount of money, blah blah blah. blah, blah. Come on, man! All that's gonna be a thing of the past soon. Come, especially when these when these hells come to pass, when these different prophecies really kick off, man. Like talking about it, man. 
You know, you Israelite men out there, man, you better seek your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh before somebody start eating on you soon come. Because um, cannibalism is coming back on a major way, man. In a major way. So Lord, one of their elect was edified. Ain't going to be the dead horse giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Rahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rahashem, Rahashem, Next double honor to the head apostle slash elder bishop with great millstone. The one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. A ball, a ball, DTA, soon and very soon. Shalom.